One of the best parts about Databox is that it makes it really easy for you to centralize and visualize the KPIs that your team or company care about most all in one place. And in this video, we're going to cover how to track native metrics or KPIs from the software tools that you use. So first, come over to the menu and click Metrics. And here at the top, you can see we've got a few options, My Metrics, metric library, custom, and calculated metrics. And we'll go into some detail on those other tabs later, but for this video, we're going to talk about adding metrics to my metrics. And the great value here is that you can quickly view and access all the KPIs that you care about most in one place. Now, if you've already synced your data in the prior step and you've added integrations, then you're going to be able to select available metrics from those integrations right here. And if you didn't, don't worry, there's still opportunity for you to do that from the metric screen here. So let's go ahead and click add metric. And then let's hit the drop down here and you can see under this banner, data source connections. These are all the integrations that you've made in the prior step. So if there's any data sources that you've connected or that anyone at your company has connected and shared access with, then those are going to display for you here. And then here are all available integrations. So there may be integrations that you haven't integrated yet, uh, software tools that you've not integrated yet that you want to do. And you can do that here if you want. So for this example, let's say that I'm a marketing manager and one of my KPIs is website sessions. I really want to track sessions to our website and that comes from GA4. So I'm going to go ahead and click GA4 and access that account. And then I'm going to search for the metric that I care about. So our KPI or metric is sessions and I'm going to click to add that. And you will see this metric then appear here under my metrics. Now, the other thing you can do is favorite this metric by clicking this star and that will add this metric both to my metrics and to your performance screen. So if you click on home now under performance overview, you can see that there is sessions here, this metric that we just added and favorited. So let's come back to the metric screen. And then the final thing to note here is that one of the coolest things is let's say that you want to dive into detail and look at some of the historical performance of this KPI. Uh, maybe you want to compare it to other timelines or see other performance details about it. Sometimes it can be a little bit cumbersome to go looking for just one KPI. If you need, if all you need to do is sort of like double click into the KPI to learn more about it, it can be a little cumbersome to go looking through different dashboards where you're, you know, seeing multiple metrics in one place to try and look at it. So this is where this, my metric screen really comes in handy. Instead, I can find the KPI I want here, click view details, and then you get this really nice sort of visualization auto generated for you and we can change the timeline we can hover over and look at historical performance and we can also review some handy historical performance here like last month comparing it to week to date month to date or year to date and we're adding more insights here that will be coming soon so this is just a great screen where if you want to dive deeper into a specific kpi to look at historical performance and in the future benchmark and forecast data around it you'll be able to do that